Hi, I'm Brian Douglas from Bento Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to extract DNA for PCR using the dipstick DNA extraction method. The dipstick method is a simple three-step protocol to extract DNA in only 30 seconds. It is cheap, quick, and it can work with a range of different samples. For this tutorial, I'm using the Bento Dipstick DNA Extraction Kit. The kit comes as a set of bottled DNA dipsticks and two solutions, an extraction buffer and a wash buffer. Let's get started. First, make sure that your tools and your workspace are clean and sterile. If you want to know more about how to do this, take a look at our guide to clean sampling practices. For each sample, you'll be using two 1.5mm tubes and a PCR tube. I've already labelled these tubes and of course, labelling is very important if you're extracting multiple samples. In this demo, my sample is a carrot which has been colonised by a mould. I've already cut a small subsample using a sterile razor blade. Make sure that your sample size is only a few cubic millimetres, otherwise it could cause the extraction or PCR to fail. The first step of the dipstick method is a cell lysis step using the extraction buffer. The buffer contains a dilute ionic detergent and salt. Aliquot a small amount of extraction buffer into the first 1.5ml tube. The exact amount depends on the size of your sample, but it's generally around 100 microliters to 200 microliters. Now, insert the subsample into the extraction buffer tube. Using a pestle, grind it for 10 seconds or until it's mostly pulverized. In combination with the grinding of the sample, the buffer will rupture the cell membranes and release the DNA. Finally, top up with more extraction buffer to a total of 500 microliters and close the lid. Next, aliquot one milliliter of the wash buffer into the second 1.5 mil tube and close the lid. Finally, prepare your PCR mix and aliquot it into the 0.2 mil PCR tube. Now for the dipstick and wash steps. The dipstick has a cellulose binding zone at one end. This is where the DNA will bind to the dipstick. Capture the DNA by dipping this end in the extraction buffer three times. You want the binding zone to be completely soaked. Then gently dip the dipstick into the tube of wash buffer five times. When you remove the dipstick, check that there are no large droplets of buffer on the dipstick. If there are, gently touch the dipstick to the edge of the tube to remove the droplets. Now we release the DNA into our PCR solution. Dip the dipstick into the PCR reaction mixture between 3 and 15 times, depending on how concentrated your sample is. Push the dipstick into the bottom of the tube so that the dipstick bends. This helps the liquid move through the paper and helps increase the amount of DNA released. After dipping, wipe the dipstick on the edge of the PCR tube to make sure that there's no large droplets of PCR reaction mix left on the dipstick. The PCR reaction is now ready to go. If you're not planning to perform PCR straight away, you also have the option of storing the DNA in a small amount of TE buffer. A 1.5ml tube is suitable for this. Simply dip the dipstick a couple of times into the solution and then leave the dipstick in the tube as you close the lid. The standard extraction buffer is suitable for a wide range of different tissue types. In some cases, such as for particular animal or fungal samples, it might be useful to use a more concentrated version of the extraction buffer in order to increase the effectiveness of the method. If you found this video useful, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions, or if you're using the dipstick extraction method yourself, please let us know. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you.